How long does HIV survive in wet blood? Hey, welcome to Mark Medicals. All right. It is important to bear in mind that whilst HIV may live for some time outside the body, HIV transmission has not been reported as a consequence of contact with spillages of blood, semen, or other body fluids, although many healthcare workers do come into contact with HIV-infected body fluids. Questions regarding the survival of HIV are frequently raised by people who come into contact with spilled body fluids. Fears over the casual transmission of HIV have also led many people to be concerned over the risk of contact with spilled blood, dried blood, or other body fluids, even in microscopic quantities. The only difference between wet and dried blood is water and blood clots. In dried blood, there will be platelets that have begun to adhere to one another, and the water has evaporated. This does not remove any viruses that could be in the blood. It also depends on how long these viruses can live outside the body before dying. HIV can survive in dried blood for up to five to six days at regular room temperature. So, it could probably survive in wet blood for weeks unless weather conditions are unfavorable. If you think you got exposure through contact with such body fluids, talk to your healthcare provider for HIV PEP medication in less than 72 hours. All right, I think the question, how long does HIV survive in wet blood, has been answered. Cheers.